sure to drop by his booth. Crap, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> okay. I had to play the video there because Ernest or whatever his name is just just ended his thing and I wanted Trixie to talk. So um let's see, let's get this right. Okay. And sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. Speak of the devil. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm gonna give him the recording device. I almost forgot. Hey Danny. Do you mind, comrade? We're busy trying to protect the expo from the likes of you. This will only take a minute. Our plant recorder. It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Shh, listen. No. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned out all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Detective Parker, surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? You know, one of these days I should really stop all of that. Hey, does this mean that the barricades can come down from Emmett's booth? Let's take that as a yes. I've got to get Emmett out of that glass house. All right. That's cool. We got Edna captured. She burned on the speakeasies. Freaking. All right. Now it's time to go into the glass house. Uh, the glass house turnstile. Cool. Somehow I need to get down here, down there. Okay, okay. Uh, do this. How is that locked? Let's go through this one. All right. So this is like a maze. I don't like it. Um. Oh no no no! Don't do that. Where am I going? Let's see. Let's look around. Oh, wait. Okay, I saw it was blurry for you guys, so sorry. Oh, finally you could open that one. I was wondering what was happening there. Alright, move this crap out of the way. Come on, let's go. Over, over here. I think this is the right way to go. I'm not quite sure. Dang it. I don't know where to go. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know where to go. Oh, wait, maybe moving that thing out of the way. Oh uh, no. Is Something's it? blocking it. Yeah, well no dirt. Um This thing? How am I supposed to get this thing out of the way? Then 
go over here, and then over here, nope. Um. Crap. Crappity crap. Maybe this is the wrong way originally. Huh. Odd. Let me look. Oh, yeah. Huh. Where am I going? Because this place is blocked off. Come on, Emmett, look up here! Ah. Why not use something to, you know, knock on a glass or something? Uh-uh. I'm only giving this to Emmett. Yeah, well, you don't have to give it to the glass. Um, yeah, there's nothing to hit the glass with, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a, some sorts of puzzles, and I need to figure figure it out. Broski. Let's get over here. Okay, okay, we're making some progress. Oh my goodness, where are we? slide open. Oh wait, finally it shows us where it's coming from. Okay, maybe it's something at the top I need to get rid of. Yeah, I knew it. There we go, maybe that'll do it. Let's go through here. Please work, please work, please work, man. Yes! I did it. Gosh darn it, Doc. You always have to ruin our plans. Oh, wait, wait, wrong way, wrong way. Crap. Let me guess, something's blocking our way. Uh, I assume this thing is. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Closer to our exhibit, or to Doc's exhibit, not ours. Um, looks like the Trixie, maybe she saw something. Hiya, folks. Hi, Trixie. Now, what can I do you for? Edna's eliminated, first of all. I don't think Edna's gonna be an obstacle anymore. So she was the speakeasy arsonist after all. Kid was right. He was also right about whiskey being good for the vocal cords. I don't think so. Did Emmett come through here with Carl Sagan? Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> what do you mean by thanks? She didn't do anything. Um, well, this guy originally told us um, where Emmett was in the first place, so let's maybe he hey, knows. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. 
I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left not a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. Pretty back. That's a pretty bad accent. Take off your helmet. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinuses. Hmm. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology, but I fail to understand what you're. Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with Stop! that? Help! I'm being attacked. Sonny, what are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy's obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jacques Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. You know, if that's Doc inside there, where is Professor Duteau? Duteau. Uh, what did you do with Emmett? Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he's in there. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. Yeah, where's the real Duteau? What have you done with the real Professor Duteau? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duteau. Say la vie. I think I'm going to take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> take a ride in a bathosphere. Your bathosphere. I'd like to see the inside of it. Can't get in without a ticket, I'm afraid. You're not going to get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Uh -huh. Is that Spanish or something? Um, well, I do have a ticket. I don't know why I didn't use it in the first place. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's a, uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Now give me a break. Oh, this is a bunch of bullcrap. Let's talk to Arthur about this. Hey, Artie. Yeah, aquarium guy won't take my ticket. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm, there must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bath to see you.
If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future. Right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. Oh no. Where the next one's Hold up? Down, please. The Bathosphere exhibit is currently closed for repairs. Step back, you're cripping the holes. What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad for them. Oh, sorry. Ha. Huh. Hey! Raise it. I know Emmett's in there. Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. Uh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Dude, you're gonna die, you know, so you just can just raise the bathosphere. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you would. Why not? There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? Hmm. <laughs> Drop the axe. You ready to drop the axe now, Jacques Duteau, a.k.a. Carl Sagan, a.k.a. No! You know what happens when the air runs out, to both of you. Well, I'm... It's an old wonderful superstition that crimp horns feeds. It will do. It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. There's not. Well, you know, I'm just going to stay here. Let's watch Fake Doc suffer. I command you uncrimp that holes! Funny, you'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's as if you two were connected somehow. Step off the holes! Nope. Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I won't do it! Then neither will I. Hey, stop being so stubborn. So for all the years, they have been home by stock. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before. thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush. I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where did he go? You know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that is. Greetings and salutations to all our honored guests. I am Techni, News of Progress. And it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on. Let's get up there. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are gone. Wish me luck. I don't have to.
I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of Von Ebert Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of his enemy. I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. Ah. Ah, that boy. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Dang it, his father came in. At least we know what he looks like, because that, that one portrait of him uh, didn't really reveal much at all. and just revealed the dark face, which is kind of scary. But <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to have to leave the episode there. Oh, my gosh, I had such low energy. Oh, my God. I just woke up. Oh my. Anyway, guys, that was fun. <sighs> Dang it, uh, Doc, I mean, the fake Doc, he's such, he's so annoying. He get, he gets on my nerves. Like, he, that was the last straw. I don't like him anymore. Anyway, guys, everybody stay cool, live large, and we will see you all later. Later.